Hey guys, Funcho here from We Coach Crypto. Now today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Now you guys have already seen a few videos that I've put out where I've been talking about the metaverse, how bullish I am on that. And I've also been even doing a few market updates inside of the metaverse using a VR headset. But today we want to find out a little bit more about what some of the amazing opportunities look like for businesses and individuals with virtual reality. So we're going to go and see our friend Alex Harvey at Revere, which is reality in virtual reality, over in Southam at their head office. So we'll see you there. Right, we're off to River. And this is called Six Degrees of Freedom. It means you can pick things up, interact with cameras, have a torch and do stuff like you do in the real, in the real world. Six degrees of freedom to walk around, six off. This is called River Link and it's three off. So it's for classroom training. Right. Instead of training one person at a time on that, you can train 50 people at a time. If you've got, got yeah. headsets. Wow. But we sell five, 10 and 15 kits. Brilliant. And the clients that we have put their own logo inside the box and they use it, they go and shoot their own content in the morning, like the army, military, police. Then they come back to the office in the afternoon, put it onto the box and train the people in the classroom, you know, like the same day. That's brilliant. So they haven't got any on costs of um, doing training and paying a company like thousands of pounds to do a production. They go point down a bit more there, that's it. Now turn to the let go, turn to the cooker. You can pick up some things now from wow. the cooker. Pick up the sausages. Have a little look. Just make a mess. Like pick everything up, and chuck it away, chuck it over the side of the room. So if I want to like highlight him, I can just draw around his head, point at him. Can you see me drawing on him? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's just allowing me to annotate and have a bit of a deeper chat with the lesson, the team that I'm with. Sure. And I can press play, pause, carry on. I've just jumped out of that because I want to show you what a 2D video is. Look, this is 2D inside VR. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. So you're not on your phone. Yeah. You're not distracted. Any old video you got, I can still use. Yeah, brilliant. Again, I can draw on the screen. I'll press stop, we'll come out of that just because I'm buzzing through. But now I want to show you 3D. So you haven't seen what 3D is yet. This is a different image out of each of your, in each of your eyes. It's only 180 VR, this is. Uh, that's mine. I that's that dog. <laughs> He's in Dallas. He's worth a few quid, that, that dog, isn't he? He's not cheap, yeah. I'll put a touch that, sir. So, maybe Unity should come up in yeah. front of you. So, you're now, yeah, teleport to that hole again. Oh, press uh, sorry, yeah, the thumb button. That's it. Get to the edge. Look over. The, look down it from there. It's nice to know because this is real. This is obviously you're seeing. That's immense. Teleport to the next little uh, ledge. But as you look around now, this is all as it is. This is scanned as it is in Warwick. It's not like That's fake right. computer games or synthetic environments. Guys, this is just a a simple way of showing you where we're going in the future. Teleport along here. People could create oh, environments like this, and then, and then, there could be an NFT attached to it, which gives people access to see this, whether that's from a TV documentary or a, an app or you know anything like that. Yeah, you could give exclusive yes. access to people to say, look, I've got a VR world. It's available for one hour, and only two people are allowed in it at any one time. Just ideas, just chucking things around, like to sure. make things exclusive. Little metaverse environments like this could have a limit with capped on the amount of people. 100%. And then you would pass it to your friend. Okay, like I trade it on to my mate because he can now go in the world with his mate. Like add some after value to it. Yeah, so look here, you're looking inside Riverlink, and when you put this headset on, 
you're going to see inside this classroom. We're going to show you some of the VR training inside the classroom. You'll also be able to do it if you look in there, probably. <laughs> but yeah, you put this on. Okay. And then I'll press play on uh, some little videos. I just want to show you inside here some different, different bits of content. Let's take a look. So like, first of all, like a standard 360 video looks like this. We're going to forward it through it so you can see a little bit more. So in this mode, you just get to look around with your head. You don't get to interact with anything. Yeah. Out of interest, what kind of time frame is required to create an environment like this? Yeah, so we've got eight, we've got eight different environments at the moment. Yeah. Each one was burnt over like one day. And okay. then we're probably on scene scanning for two or three days per container. And then we have to come back to the studio and do like a couple of weeks of work at least on the container to make it like game that, ready. That would be to get a new scene in. But yeah, there's, I'm been, with you. there's been out, watch out, for it. Take, oh. a, take a couple of steps back and then you'll be in the middle of the, the real world room. Okay. Get a bit close to the wall. That's Sorry. Cool. And then teleport back. But, if you want. Yeah, it's had, it's had hours and hours of development back end for. Uh, all of the um, different features in there, like to pick an object up, to pull the camera out, to have the the photo. If you take, you can take pictures in there, and they will all log to your library. All that sort of stuff has has been months and months, and but we haven't got to do that again now. All we have to do is add in new scenes, uh, which okay. is the easy part. What's what you seeing on that plate then? Yeah, I was I was saying that it, it's just amazing the level of detail. I can even tell that this pizza is Domino's pizza. <laughs> it's crazy. It's, it, it's like you can tell you can tell by the edges, the way the sauce has been applied, and that just gives you an <laughs> idea. A connoisseur of Domino's oh, pizza. listen, any pizza, I can tell you. But it just sh goes to show the level of quality yeah. and detail that's there. That's mind blowing. Just pick everything up, chuck it at the window, or like chuck it out of the way. Oh, watch the wall. But yeah, just <laughs> practice the physics, yeah, throwing it around. Oh, see what you mean, yeah. You can That's chuck everything, all those bits off the cooker break apart. But the, the, one of the things is uh, you can see that one of the gas hobs is, is in the on position. Oh, um, yeah. That's, I've seen fire investigation candidates go through this scene and spend about an hour and a half in there combing through the floor and taking every single object out meticulously and like then they have to they make their contemporaneous notes on the dictaphone which is like exactly what they would do in real life that is mental how you've got you can move the cooker as well you move the cooker can you move the cooker can you yeah you can press evidence look on your thumb there you go oh yeah now get your torch out and you see all the stains down the back of the wall uh, torch oh yeah wow that's mad. It's just like everything's there, you know, in a normal game, or you know, like COD or something, you move something out of the way, and yeah. it's like sometimes it's not got anything behind it. It's like everything's been done. The stuff you just watched on that little demo we had then was all shot on this camera. It's why it's really powerful having the eye contact because of the way we shoot it with this lens. Yeah, and that's, to... that's the kind of image that you get out of it, which is basically like a, a left and right image with a bit of disparity between the distance. Um, and that's where you get that depth when you see it in VR, is that it's basically replicating what you see with your eyes, so. Amazing. Well, as if in, in a minute, if you wanted to, we could show you the other camera, which is a ball, and we're seeing all 360 around, rather than this is just seeing 180 degrees in front of you. This is the S900, this is the drone that Joe passed his drone, drone license on. And mine was a bit smaller, but... It's a beast. Yeah, this used to carry a 360 camera. This used to have a GH4 on it. This is the gimbal. This is just hanging on here for show. This is pure uh, it for, for, for theatre. Okay. Because this is the old GoPro Omni rig, which we used to put six GoPros in to make a 360 image. Amazing. And then Ross's little fun room. Ross's photogrammetry room. Oh. This is where we scan, isn't it? This is where we scan objects. So, like when you picked up the Coke can inside that virtual reality world, yeah, that Coke can was scanned in here, along with all the other items that you saw when you're picking up in there, like the 
bacon, the sausages and the frying pan. Amazing. We put it on the table here and then turn it round one at a time, spinning it round at small, small intervals. And then so we take an image from every single side of this, from all of these cameras on this arc. And then we put it into the software to make a 3D model of that object. So we don't have to model it or have a modeler model it. We just have to decimate it, retopo it and then bring it into VR. Amazing. Wow. Absolutely amazing. So I assume something like this, in effect, once you've got that 3D model, that, so, that could be NFT'd. Yeah, the 3D model. Yeah. So if, if you can get a digital interpretation of a real world item, in effect, it's something that you could NFT as well. Yeah, so we've done, I've put a lot of mine already onto OpenSea, 3D models that we've made. So yes, you can definitely, very much, you can put anything like that onto OpenSea and mint it. So you can mint the 3D model, you can also link to the Sketchfab version of it, you can also sell the models on Sketchfab, so at the moment there's two ways, you can NFT something and then try and sell it and then uh, try and sell that to someone else's 3D model and then they can own it, or you can just skip the NFT section and just upload it straight to Sketchfab and have it on sale for four ninety nine. So to scan everything that you eat or anything that's in your bloody environment, put it online. I've got 300 objects on there. They literally sell like three or four or five different objects every month. It's not like big money, but they're selling for like five, six, seven pound a pop for free. So I'm like eating food, scanning food, and then selling the 3D model of the food. <laughs> to buy more food. <laughs> to buy more food. <laughs> to, to That's live. brilliant. <laughs> this is Ross's biggest powerful LED that he's ever made. So this hangs on the bottom of a drone and we use it to like floodlight. It's like having a football light, stadium lights underneath the drone. Underneath the drone, yeah. That's so crazy. we can fly around and just like make some cool cinematic intro pieces. Fantastic. But Ross doesn't like me in this room very much. You're getting the full tour now. Let's go in. Uh, see, uh, oh, wow. that, Check all that's, that is. that's one of the cameras that was in the burn. That's what they look like after they've burned. Oh wow! And that's that's it. That's that's had a mild that's scorch in that one. So that's what they <laughs> that look one, like before they've been that, completely. That one was warmed up. This, this one's been on full. This miles. one's been burnt. That was a GoPro 360 camera fusion. That one got melted as well. Crazy. And then this. I like this sort of montage. Old, old 360 rigs and old 360 rig. So they've, they've all got a story to tell, each one of these items, right? Yeah, some of them are grandpa's cameras. Uh, our grandpa's into photography. Um, and Joe made this desk because he's a bit of a handy carpenter as well as a drone pilot. Hey guys, so we've had a fantastic day out at River, reality in virtual reality. We want to thank Alex and Joe Harvey and the rest of the team there for showing us around and showing us what the capabilities are with virtual reality, augmented reality, and also NFTs. We see some huge opportunities about how this can be applied in the crypto space and in the metaverse. And we look forward to bringing some amazing opportunities to all of you too. So if you've enjoyed the video, please make sure you give us a thumbs up. Share the video if you think someone would find it useful. And as always, guys, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below and we will get back to you. Hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll catch up with you in the next one. Take care.